Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the Drunk Elephant Trunk 6.0. This year they partnered with Laka Coolers and we have everything housed in a 20 quart cooler. The cooler itself retails for $160, which makes this a great value because it retails for $450, but the total value is $662 and that is just for the products, not the cooler. So I am going to show you the cooler here. I'm actually not familiar with Laka coolers, but apparently it's a very popular brand. The only cooler I know is Yeti and I don't even own that. So <laughs> you have these rubber handles to make it a really tight fit. Uh, I think this is a bottle opener. There is the logo there. It has two cup holders here at the top and a very convenient carrying handle right here that's padded. And then on the side is a drain so you can drain all the water when the ice melts inside. So this is what is contained inside. We have this little welcome message and a pamphlet that talks about everything inside. And then all of the products are housed very conveniently in here. And through the magic of YouTube, I have it all displayed for you right over here. And we will be going through everything one by one, discussing the value and why I really like this drunk elephant trunk every single year. So let's go ahead and start with this. Okay, starting off with the message here, you have the Drunk Elephant logo. So here it is. And then inside is a message from Tiffany. I guess she's the president, CEO, owner. And she basically talks about how, because we have been home for the past two and a half years for obvious reasons, we're all staying close to home, maybe taking road trips, and that one of her favorite memories is going to the lake. And so that's why they changed it up from the travel suitcases to a cooler so that we can all enjoy it while we are home. And inside we have more info about the cooler itself, all the features that it has, those handles, non-slip feet, bottle opener, cup holders at the top. And then here are all the products inside. And what I love about the Drunk Elephant trunk every single year, I think it's such a great value because it has 10 full-size products. So I have them all here for you. Everything back here is full sized. And then in addition, they have some samples. So we have four foil packets and then some three deluxe sizes here. So let's start with the samples real quick. I also like that they switch it up. So for example, the first foil sample is the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. I love this. I've gone through several bottles of this and they did include this in prior years, but because they always come up with new products, they like to switch it up. So this year we just have a sample in lieu of some newer stuff. Another sample of the D Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. This you can wear alone. You can mix it in with your sunscreen, your makeup, your foundation, your moisturizer. Just gives you a nice little glow. I actually have not used this, but I hear good things. The third foil packet is the A Passioni Retinol Cream. I don't think I've used this before, but we do have the corresponding full-sized oil that is, I guess, part of this line. And then we have the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. And this is a very similar cream, at least the packaging is similar to the proteiny polypeptide cream that they included. And then for the deluxe samples, we have the Erase Milky Micellar Water. I actually have not tried this. The Proteiny Power Peptide Resurf Serum and the Slay Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. This one I do own in the full size. And what I like about the full size is it comes with a little spatula applicator that is kind of I think it's magnetic and then it attaches to the top. Oh, they even have the foil packet of this. <laughs> so if you buy the full size, it comes with a little canister of the Bamboo Booster Exfoliant. So you would mix that in with the Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. And so they include a little sample packet with this trial deluxe sample size. And I really like this. It's like a very smooth, milky, kind of like a Vaseline texture. You take a scoop of it and you massage it into your face. If you have a full face of makeup, this is great for doing a double cleanse. So like this. And this is in no particular order. I just literally lined it up by size order. But we have the Bestie Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser. This retails for $32. It is a huge size. This is made with cantaloupe glycerin. I don't want to open it <laughs> for you, sorry, because uh, it has a foil cap. I don't want to open it because I'm going through another cleanser. But I have used a full size of this before. I like to keep this in my shower because I like to mix it with an exfoliant when I need it. But yeah, this is really nice and gentle. It's described as a gentle cleanser to remove makeup, excess oil, pollution, and grime. 
that rinses away without residue leaving skin clean and soft. This doesn't irritate my eyes and I wear contacts and I wear a lot of eye makeup often and this does not irritate my eyes, which is always something that I look for in a cleanser. Next up, we have the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. This retails for $48, and this is the standard size. This only comes in the one size. It's 1.69 ounce or 50 ml. And what I love about these serums is the applicator. I've never seen this kind of applicator until Drunk Elephant came out with it, and then I see it now with other brands, but I feel like they pioneered this. This twists open this way, and then I'll go ahead and open when you pump it through it just deposits the perfect amount that you need for a hydration serum mm. i like that this does not have any fragrance i'm pretty sure none of their products contain additional fragrance and then when you're done you just close it up and it pops back in so it's nice and neat and clean and on the website this is described as a cool drink of water for thirsty skin this hydrating serum visibly replenishes the complexion and improves the look of skin texture and tone. Okay, next up, I am really excited about because I have loved the C Firma Day Serum from Drunk Elephant, and they have reformulated this, and I haven't used it since they reformulated this, but the way this comes packaged now is similar to the hydration serum. When you open it, it has these separate ingredients because when you are ready to use, that's when you mix it. Because you want the ingredients to stay active for as long as possible, until you're ready to use it, it stays this way. And then once you are ready to open this up and begin using it, you open up the liquid serum base and then you pour the liquid here into the powder. You mix it up and then you insert it inside. So it has this similar opening. And this does smell, I mean, it doesn't smell great. I, I, don't, I wouldn't say it smells bad, but I think some people have described this as smelling like hot dogs. It just smells kind of pungent, but in a way that you know it's working, if that <laughs> makes sense. Okay, here it tells you, C Firma is designed to be mixed by you before its first use, which maximizes the potency of its delicate but powerful ingredients while keeping the formula fresh. This revolutionary vitamin C serum is packed with a powerful antioxidant complex of 15% I ascorbic acid, 0.5% ferulic acid, and 1% vitamin E to reveal a brighter, firmer, and more even looking complexion. So you would use this in the morning, get your day started with vitamin C. So I'm really excited. I also like that the containers are opaque because especially with vitamin C serums or really anything with active ingredients, you don't want it to be exposed to light and especially to sunlight. If your bathroom gets natural light, it just has a longer shelf life if uh, it's contained in a opaque bottle. And this retails for $78. And what is a day serum without its night serum partner? This is the TLC Framboos Glycolic Night Serum. And maybe it's this one that smells like hot dog water. <laughs> this retails for $90 and it has their iconic opening. This is described as an AHA BHA night serum that resurfaces congested skin by lifting away dead skin cells to visibly improve skin tone, texture, fine lines, wrinkles and pores. I think this was the first serum that got me into salicylic acid. This does contain a little bit of it. It helps loosen sebum to unclog pores while soothing skin. And I just, look how cute the packaging is, guys. I love that everything is its own bright signature color. This is very easy to spot on my shelf with the bright pink cap. It's interesting because here, this is called TLC Frambu's Glycolic Night Serum, but I'm looking at the Sephora website and the full name is TLC Framboos Glycolic Resurfacing Night Serum. So don't forget this resurfaces your skin. Next is something that I have not tried. This is the Wonder Wild Miracle Butter. This is a marula butter with meadow foam oil. Interesting, I have not tried this. I don't even remember this coming out. So I'm just looking it up to see what's in it. This retails for $38. This is described as an intensely nourishing salve that rescues and soothes dry, chapped, irritated, or compromised skin, supporting skin's natural healing abilities. Okay, I'm gonna try this. So, this is a pretty good size. It's not too big, so you can definitely carry this around, or I like to have a nice car lotion. Oh, look, this is actually very thick. So this is called Miracle Butter, and it is the consistency of butter. It's definitely thicker than a lotion, very similar to like what, you know, I mean, they call it a salve. Hmm, this has no fragrance. Okay, very nice. And next is the F-Bomb Electrolyte Water Facial. I have used this and it is so good. It is so intensely 
hydrating. This is an overnight mask. This retails for $52. And it's described here as a cooling, quenching overnight mask that visibly plumps and restores with an electrolyte cocktail while helping to support the skin's acid mantle. So this is just like a very intense night mask. I love these applicators. Okay. So very nourishing. Hmm. I wish I could say it smells so good, but I don't smell anything, <laughs> which is a good thing. I don't mind fragrance in skincare. For those of you who are sensitive, then you should check out Drunk Elephant because they don't add fragrance to anything. So it really just smells like nothing, but it does the job. I've used this before and my skin feels really soft the next day. So I'm excited to have a full size of this again. Then we have the TLC Sukari Baby Facial. This is an AHA and BHA mask. It retails for $80. But this lasts for so long. A little really goes a long way. And if you have sensitive skin, you might need to kind of get used to it and maybe don't, you know, put too much on. Maybe don't leave it on for a long time. You use this once a week. You kind of apply a thin layer all over your face and then you leave it on for 20 minutes and then rinse it off. I always use this in the shower just because I, I'm not good with masks and it getting in my hair. I like to use it when I'm washing my face and washing my hair so I can just kind of rinse it all away. But you feel your skin so soft after you, you use it and it feels a little tingly towards the end. So you really can't use it for a long time. If you're not used to using these kinds of masks, like facials, maybe just use it for a few minutes and then rinse it off after a few and then kind of build up your tolerance to it. But this just definitely lasts forever when I use it. So I still have one in my shower. So I'm going to keep this on here. I don't want to open this because I have one in my shower already, but the consistency of this is like kind of like mustard. It's a little yellowy, a little grainy. So it, yeah, it really is kind of like a like a gray Poupon mustard, like a grayish mustard. It's a little gritty and I don't know, just you can really feel it working when you have this on. So that's the baby facial for $80. Next is the Sea Tangle Multivitamin Eye Cream. It's like a smaller version of the little twist off applicator. This retails for $64. It's described as a rich and restorative eye cream featuring eight peptides, five forms of vitamin C, and cucumber extract for firmer, brighter looking skin. I have used a sample of this one and I mean, I really like it. I like to keep my eye creams in a fridge. Also, I have a little mini skincare fridge just for a little cooling boost effect for depuffing. but I'll show you what this looks like here. So that's it. It's like a yellowish, again, no scent, very hydrating, absorbs really fast, it feels really slippy. So I like to apply this under my eye in the morning and then I like to wait a little bit, let it settle, let it get absorbed. And then when I put on my concealer, it doesn't pill or anything under my makeup. So great eye cream if you are looking for a new eye cream. This retails for $64. This is the Sea Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. Next up is the A Glow Maretinol Oil. I have not tried this. Again, I'm used to the Virgin Marula Oil. I really like this one. So let's see what this is like. Similar to the Marula Oil, this is in a little dropper bottle and you can kind of see through it. If you look at it through the light, you can see the oil in here, I think. This retails for $72 in this one ounce size, or you could try it out in the mini size in for half an ounce for $40. This is described as a retinol face oil that minimizes the look of lines, hyperpigmentation, blemishes and sun damage, locking in moisture and restoring a healthy glow. Okay, we'll go ahead and try this to show you. There's the dropper, really nice. Let's try one drop to see. Now I love oils and I love mixing oils in with a moisturizer. Mm, okay. Yeah, it's, I mean, it smells, it smells kind of like olive oil. It's very rich. Okay, I'll try it out. I, I like the Marilla facial oil, so I'll try this one out. And then finally, for the 10th full-sized product, we have the Proteini Polypeptide Cream. And this is a newer product. In prior years, they had the Lala Retro Whipped Cream, and it is in a similar package, I'm pretty sure. So this opens up here. So you pop off the top cap, and then you push this through, and you see the cream is dispensed through the center and then you just kind of wipe it off. I love that all their applicators, except for maybe the oil, it's very difficult to have any kind of cross contamination. That, that helps the shelf life of your skincare. If you're constantly dipping into skincare, then you can cross contaminate it, get bacteria in there. You don't want to do that. So they have these really nifty applicator systems so that there's no cross contamination. So this is a very nice, thick, creamy moisturizer. And then you put the top back on so it protects it. I think the other one, they used to not even have a top. It just had this 
this was just what was on your vanity. So I think they added this just for extra protection. So that's nice. And that is everything that is contained in this year's Drunk Elephant Trunk 6.0. I love that it has all my favorites, especially the Glycolic Night Serum and the new C Firma Day Serum, as well as some new items to try. And it also includes samples. And I like that they don't include the sample sizes in the value of this trunk. These are just kind of extra freebies. The total value they come to is just for these 10 full size products. And they don't even include the value of the cooler itself, which I think this retails, this 20 quart Laka cooler retails for $160. So at 450, it is a little pricey, but you really get your bang for your buck with this trunk. So this is one of my favorite like advent calendars, even though it's not technically an advent calendar. I love this one. I passed last year because I got the Manos suitcase collab from the year prior, but I really like that it has some new products for me. I love this cooler and I love that the whole thing this year is, you know, we might not be able to travel as much as we want to or as much as we can. So it's okay to stay home or stay close to home and spend time with your loved ones, throw some drinks in the cooler. But I definitely love this trunk. I look forward to it every year. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Drunk Elephant Trunk 6.0, if you plan to pick it up, if you plan to get this year. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what your favorite Drunk Elephant products are. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.